Hi everybody, Cynthia here. How are you today? I hope you're all doing well. We are November 8th and this is my week 11 um, post-op vertical gastric sleeve surgery update. And I'm sorry, I think my friend here wants to participate in the video. He's very loud and I took it out because I was thinking he was yelling like a crazy bird. He is a crazy bird and I thought it would uh, be more quiet if it was on me, but I was wrong. Anyway, he wants to participate. So his name is Yuki, and um, yeah, he's a little... Sometimes I feel like cooking him, but there's not enough meat on it. Anyways, <laughs> so I have him for like a year and a half. And uh, yeah, so it's kind of a love-hate relationship we have. Sometimes he bites me. And right now he's yelling in my ear and it's uh, a bit crazy. So I hope that I'm going to be able to make this video and you're going to understand something. So numbers, numbers, numbers. Um, at the beginning of my journey, my highest recorded weight, shut up, was 280 pounds. Day of surgery, 238. And today, 212. Getting closer to Wonderland. And uh, so since last week, I lost three pounds, which I'm very happy about because I usually use, lose one pound or maybe two pounds. But, you know, I think it's only the second time that I lose over three pounds in a week. So I'm very happy. I'm going to take it. And uh, so it makes a total loss uh, pounds of 68 pounds since uh, December 2012 and 26 pounds lost since my surgery so it's going well uh, I had a good week a busy crazy busy week this week again and but you know I I wake up earlier in the morning even if it's so difficult in November because you know when I wake up it's still like I feel like we're in the middle of the night and um, so I've been walking a lot this week and doing uh, weight training shut up uh, weight training, um, Pilates again, and yeah, lots of walking. And um, what happened this week? What I noticed? What is different? Well, I see my hair. Can you see that? My hair is like disappearing. Look at this. I've never seen my scalp like this, but you know what? It's not only not only that I'm losing my hair. My hair is changing. I've always had very, very dry hair, and now I don't know what's going on. I feel like it's it, it wants to become greasy after two days. <laughs> I never had greasy hair my entire life. I've always dealt with very dry hair, so I don't know what's going on with my hair. Seriously, I hate it right now. So even loose is not nice. I don't I don't even want to see it. So I just like put put it up and. Anyways, I don't know what's going gonna happen. Maybe I'm gonna go bald or something. I don't know. And uh, something that I've noticed uh, about my face, I keep having those pimple breakouts, like it's never ending when it starts to heal. Uh, some more are coming. So am I the only one experiencing experiencing skin problems like breakouts all the time? Let me know. And guys, I'm only at four pounds and a half from the middle of my journey so only four and a half pounds to lose and I'm gonna be halfway to my final destination which is uh, 135 pounds I don't know if it's gonna stick to this um, goal but for now this is my final goal we'll see we'll cross the river when we get to the bridge to see if it's uh, reasonable or not so I don't know and you know I I don't go out much but this week I had to eat outside Twice uh, on Sunday, I went to see a show and I had dinner with my best friend. And um, we went to a vegetarian restaurant here in Montreal. And this place is like you pay for what you take, it's like a buffet, a vegetarian buffet, but you pay by the weight. <laughs> I love that. Because you can pick, you know, I get sometimes I get tired of eating always the same thing and you know, because I can eat about five or six bites and I'm done. Um, I don't feel like mixing, like, I mostly eat protein. Ow! And, um, leave me alone. Stop it. 
that bird. Uh, yeah. Ow. This is my ear. He's yelling in my ear. I hate that. Um, so, um, usually, yeah, no, I was talking about that restaurant. It's by the weight. And what I like about it is that, you know, oh, uh, yeah, I remember what I was saying. Leave me alone. Sorry, guys. <laughs> He's a pain in the ass. Uh, yeah, when I eat, I try to eat mostly protein. And, you know, I don't want to mix up too much with veggies and, and because it's, it's worthless because... I eat like five or six bites and I'm done. But you know what I like about these salad? It's No, it's not a salad bar. It's a buffet. But, you know, I can take like a very, very small cup and have like... Are you going to shit on my head again? Sorry again. Uh, it's like I eat about not even half a cup. And I can, you know, grab one bite of many different uh dishes and i just love it because it, it it's different it makes a change and you know how much it cost me for that dinner on sunday <laughs> it cost me three dollars so i'm loving it and then this week i went to the public library uh to work on my project and i i um I had to go have lunch somewhere and i thought well i'm gonna cross the street and go to the university uh, where I used to go a long time ago because I know that there's a salad bar. And in a salad bar, you have feta cheese, you have, like, anything you want. Uh, eggs, uh, different kinds of salads, pasta salads, uh, some um, ham. And, you know, you have so many things in a salad bar. And same thing, it costed me, like, 280 to eat. So I'm loving uh, these uh, uh, by-the-weight um, restaurants. So it's good for me because since I don't eat, I don't pay much. So yeah, I love it. Try it. You're going to love it. And it's kind of a, you know, personal joy when you get to the to the cash and they tell you how much it is and you, you feel like laughing, but I love it. You know, there's got to be some positive sides of um, going to restaurants and, and not being able to eat that much. Uh, when you go to these types of restaurants, you're a winner. That's for sure. So, um, what else, what else did I want to talk about? Yeah, walking in the morning, you know, now these, this week I woke up at 6, 6.30 every single morning, and right, I, right after I wake up, I dress up, and I go out and walk for an hour, and I try to, you know, raise the pace, and go a longer distance uh, within the same time, but you know what? It's very difficult now because the weather in the morning is really cold and I live by the river and with the wind and everything. So it takes uh, courage, but I still do it. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to walk in the morning like this every day because, you know, the winds are stronger in the morning than at night. So maybe at some point I'm going to change my routine and walk maybe at uh, during the evening. Like I used to be last winter. It was very cold, but I used to walk. Uh, around 8 or 9 p.m., you know, when the winds are down and it was nice, nicer, <laughs> should I say. So maybe I'm going to do that uh, if I see that it's getting really too cold in the morning because, you know, I, I wear a hat. I I get dressed uh, properly, but still I feel the wind, like my ears are freezing and, you know, and it's going to get worse and worse because we're only beginning of November. So we'll see. So that's about it, guys. I had a good week, and I'm working on my project, and I'm trying to manage my time, and that's why I wake up earlier uh, every morning, and yeah, so I'm enjoying the weekends now, because Saturday and Sunday, I can sleep the way I want in the morning, and just relax, and it feels good. So, sorry for the bird again. I thought it would be a good move for me to have him out of his cage while I was doing my video because he was like he was yelling because he wants attention that's all about uh, these birds they, they, they're crazy for attention they're like babies and when they don't have it they just drive you crazy so sorry now you know my bird so I wish you a great weekend, a great week. I hope everybody's doing well. I didn't have time to match so many videos this week. And I hope I'm going to be able to take some time this weekend to go through all of your videos. 
uh, but my focus right now is project, exercise, and yeah, that's about it. So, have a good weekend, and my little friend here wants to say goodbye. Yuki, say goodbye. Goodbye. Say goodbye, guys. Come on. Yuki. Voila. So, goodbye from both of us, and have a good weekend. Ciao.